Hey, hey, welcome to my channel. My name is Maya. So as you can see, I'm wearing my bathroom again. What's new? I just got out of the shower and I didn't wash my face because what I'm going to do today is um, a two for one, a double whammy, whatever you want to call it. I'm doing this Suspera Intense Pigment Corrective Mask and I'm going to apply my Muesli Splot Cream. So I'm going to give you guys an update on that. Um, I've been kind of MIA on the skincare videos for a um, little under a month now. Um, towards the end of January, I had some like really crazy traumatic stuff happen, so I'll just, you know, kind of was, you know, focusing on other things. But I'm trying to get back into the groove. Um, so here I am, and I'm going to start with doing the, um, the Suspera Intense, um, Intensive Pigment Corrector um, Face Mask. So, <clears throat> I know we're all here because like we're trying to get the even skin right. My skin's looking so good and I have to give thanks to this product. And I've said before that I really do like Suspera and I will continue to keep this in my um, skincare repertoire, um, Systamine more so than, than the actual brand Suspera. Because Systamine really is, does a great job at evening your skin tone out. But when I tell you this 12% hydroquinone product works so fast, I have a clip that hopefully I didn't delete and I might include it when I um, showed you guys the actual process. So I, what I did was I applied this... Um, the ordinary peeling solution all over my face and then you know after I washed it off and whatnot I went ahead and applied this and like a few days after my skin started to peel and just you know continually continually using the brightening serum like those dark spots like are pretty much like gone like my skin's looking a lot more um even it's definitely still blotchy it's still quite blotchy but um like as far as like this area which is a big concern of mine is a lot more um neutral a lot more back to like my normal overall skin tone so let's go ahead and start with this because it's good, because I, I, I do have, um, as I like to say, high maintenance skin, <laughs> and I have not washed my face. Like I said, when you do this to spare, or when you use a systemine product, you cannot wash your face. They don't recommend it, um, because it is an exfoliating product, and it can um, peel off the top layer of your skin, you know, over time with continued use. It's just, it's just an exfoliating product, so it does get, you know, work its way deep into your skin. So you don't want to have freshly washed or, you know, irritated skin in any way. So... I'm gonna go ahead and apply this all over my face. Let this sit. Um, like I said, I also do have, you know, I have acne prone skin as well. So I, that's what another reason why I really do like to do exfoliating treatments on a regular basis, just to kind of keep my skin calm and to not break out, um, keep my skin at bay and just, just to have my skin look as good as possible. I love, like now I'm like, I'm so into skincare now when I watch TV shows and so I see people that have like, you know, as, as I also say, um, I notice when people people aren't taking care of their skin, cause it just you know it just it just looks way different. When I watch you know just when I watch different things, I'm like oh, it just it skincare makes a huge difference in how your makeup looks and how your skin looks and aging and all that. Of course we all know that you know you want to take care of your skin, um, you know, to look your best. Looking your best is nice, right? It's nice to look your best. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead. I'm he said I'm putting too much on this expensive product. <laughs> I'm, I think I'm gonna order the um. I'm going to or I should, I should put it there too. I'm gonna hey, ooh, ooh, making a mess. I'm gonna order the APC again as opposed to ordering this one because I don't really at this point I don't really need it to um, you know to use as in, in the same manner that I did when I first purchased it. So I don't really need it to help you know even my skin tone out. But I want to keep a systemine product in my arsenal so I can you know use it on a regular basis. And the APC is just far cheaper. So so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and let this sit for 15 minutes. That's how long it says, right? Um, apply a thin layer and then I'm about to pump more. Apply a thin layer, let it sit, sit for 15 minutes. This allows it to really absorb into your skin, really kind of get into the deeper layers or as deep as it can get. Um, it really work as magic and it has like it has a lasting smell. So even after you wash this off, you still can smell it on your skin. So there's that. But I'm gonna go ahead and let this sit and I'll be right back. Okay, so it's been 15 minutes. Camera's like wobbly. It's been 15 minutes. Um, it's been, had a good amount of time to absorb into my skin. I like how like oily it is because it feels like it's kind of like penetrating into your skin, you know, doing its job as far as exfoliating the top layers off and helping to disperse pigment throughout your skin. But it's also like trying to nourish it a little bit with like the oiliness of it. Um, Cause it doesn't feel uncomfortable or tight or anything like that on my skin. It does fit, it just feels, it has a slight tingle to it, but it's not even really strong or even noticeable. I think I've been using it so much for so long that I don't really notice it that much. But um, it is very comfortable on the skin. So that's like a good key thing to keep in mind. Um, as compared to the APC Systamine, it's not uncomfortable, but it's not oily. Like this, this, this has more of a uh, slick type of uh, feel to it. 
whereas the APC is more of a cream. But that one feels comfortable on the other skin as well. I just wouldn't say it's as, it doesn't come off as, as, as nourishing in my experience. All right, so let me go ahead and wipe this off. Okay, so I just wiped that off. I'm gonna go ahead and wash it off now. Um, so with these um, exfoliating and these like skin tone evening treatments, the more you use it, the the faster you'll see the results. The more consistently you use it, the faster you'll see the results. It's not a one-off type of thing with anything. You have to be consistent. We all know that. I talk about that all the time. So I'm gonna go ahead and wash my face with the Hawaiian facial um, wash and deep cleansing coconut milk. That's the, uh, the scent. So yeah, um, but when you do use these products, product, products consistently, you do notice a difference. Um, Cause I swear, the more I like stay on top of my skincare, the, my, the better it looks. And from from what I've noticed, what I like to do is I like to like use any like I won't say any, but yeah, I would like to use any exfoliating product maybe like once a week. Um, so I did the um the AHA, the the ordinary BHA AHA. I use that a few weeks ago like I was telling you guys and I, I just want to make sure that I'm you know exfoliating my skin as I said before when I do not um, use an exfoliating product on my skin on a regular basis I will get a pimple and then comes the dark spot and then comes the process so we just really want to make sure that you're exfoliating your skin if you have acne prone skin if you have textured skin we have the only way to to correct that or to get the result that you want which is you know smooth smooth skin perfect skin whatever you, whatever whatever you want the only way to do that is to use an exfoliating product and of course with, with exfoliation you have to make sure that you're also putting moisture back into your skin i don't care how oily your skin is you have to keep your skin moisturized it's all about balance balance i really really love this cleanser i said it before it smells like a spa it smells so good i really love the way that it smells um and it has a nice little tingle to it too so my skin's looking really really like moisturized and like i have this real this this system of like when i start to use retinol because i want to use retinol products oh actually i'm not because i'm going to use the um the muesli spot cream and all the actives and everything that's in there has a decent enough amount of exfoliation and actually you know what let me let me speak on that because Hydrocortisone, niacinamide is supposed to be for like enlarged pores, slightly kind of, um, it's, it's a, it has a slight use for acne, but not really. Hydrocortisone is not at all for acne, from what I know about it. So, um, yeah, the ingredients in the Muesli Ray Spot Cream are really mostly just for lightening of the skin. Um, you know, slight, it's mostly just for lightening. It's not really so much for acne. Um, so I do like to use a product that can fight acne as well because I have both issues. I want to, you know, even my skin tone out. And I also want to make sure that I'm not breaking out because I, my skin is prone to break out. So I'm not like, I don't have hardcore breakouts, but I don't, you know, the, the more, the better, the more perfect, the better. So the less I can break out, the better. All right. So that, that's, I've given that, um, cleanser some time to get into my skin. Let me go ahead and wash that off. Okay. So I went ahead and washed the product off or wiped the product off. So like I was saying, um, in combination with the uh, the hydroquinone, the 12% hydroquinone, the, the Muesli Spot Cream product, I do like to still use an exfoliating product or like a retinol or some kind of um, acne fighting blemish control type of serum in addition to that or product in addition to that because the Muesli Erase is just for, from the ingredients that are listed, mostly just for lightening and brightening evening skin tone it's not it's not to fight acne so so that's one and also um products like that the lightening brightening products work better in combination with acidic products like your retinols like your um ahas like your you know glycol this aha glycolic acid those kind of things so they, they work better because those products again um kind of Eat away at the dead skin cell. They penetrate deep into your skin. So when you put um, a, a lightening agent on top of that, it's it's able to sink further into your skin because the product is able to be pushed further into your skin by the uh, exfoliating product because they kind of work in combination. So that being said, I just took the what did I just take. I just washed my face. What am I gonna put on now? I kind of huh, I'm looking at my synovia i don't want to do too much because i did just use that and that, that's my problem sometimes i'm like okay let me just pile it all on no because my skin's looking good I, I need to find a way to like use my exfoliating products and still like you know not have my skin peeling every day because sometimes when i use retinol like the peeling is 
it's a lot but i mean the after the, the, it looks so good after it looks so much better after that's why i do like to use like a glycolic acid or like a glycolic toner but let me stop talking and put the, put something on so then i'm gonna go ahead and nourish my skin because i do i like to use my little nourishing products now also speaking of nourishing i have a retinoid here um grand active retinoid two percent emulsion this is good too because this is a retinol um now it's not as hardcore as like a retinol gel or like um yeah any of my little retinol gels um or even my apc retinol product um because that one makes my skin peel but it is a retinol so it's still kind of doing that helping your skin to turn your skin cells to turn over faster and all that stuff um, what did I say I was going to do? I said I was going to put my oils on. So let's do that. First step is the... You know, I just, I just got the bottle on it. I freaking dropped it, dropped it and like spilled half of it. Annoying. <laughs> it's the Ordinary Pycetogenol 5%. Love this. It's antioxidant. And then just some good old rosehip oil. Love rosehip oil. And I've been using it like on my eyes. It's like all over my face. And it really helps to keep that skin moisturized. Because the skin around my eyes is just... I mean, I'm, you know, as you age, you just even, you know, just period. It's it's thin, it dries out. And I'll be 30 in April. Yay. <laughs> so, let me go ahead and put this on. Now, something I want to mention is that when you use oils with, like, um, exfoliating products, they can kind of, they can cause the product to act kind of sporadically that's why a lot of times when you're applying like an AHA or something they want to make sure your skin is like free of oils like if you're doing a chemical peel or something like that if you're doing a chemical peel or if it's going to be a hardcore strong um exfoliating agent you you're going to want to make sure you don't have any oils on your skin because oils can make those products kind of sporadic and like uncontrollable as far as the way that they, whether they spread and I noticed that because when I was doing when I did the a the AHA peel, I think after I took it, I think yeah, I think after I washed it off, I put some oil on, then I put the muesli on, and I had like this really interesting kind of like pattern like around my eye where the skin this skin started to peel, and then this skin was like um, you know a different a different tone. So it just you know that's just something to keep in mind. I don't use really anything that's too hardcore like these potions and lotions and things I play with. Um, for for the most part, they're you know. They're safe not for the most part they are safe but you do want to do your research they're not something that you want to use um just do your own research you know you can take my word for it watch a few of my videos and watch a few other people's skincare videos people that are skincare professionals y'all i'm just i'm pretty much pretty much just regurgitating information that i've heard elsewhere all right and also speaking of my own experience so take that with a grain of salt i'm not a skincare professional not an esthetician not claiming to be all right so i'm gonna let this ah! I'm gonna let these oils absorb into my skin for five minutes, allow them to kind of penetrate and all that good stuff, and then I'm gonna come to the next step, which is the muesli spot cream. And I guess I'll give you a little update too, so stay tuned. All right, so it's been some time since I applied the oil. Now I'm gonna go with the last step. I'm just going to put on the muesli erase spot cream. I'm gonna put it on my uh, face and neck. Cause why not? All right, so I think I'm gonna use three pumps. So I'm gonna put it on my face and neck. So one, two, three. This stuff is potent, guys, and I haven't used this in a, like a few days, so, <laughs> like I said, it's very potent, and I notice a difference on my face when I use it, like, I literally will get, like, the, um, I don't know, the skin starts to look a little red, and that can be, you, 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 I just, you, you don't want to overdo it, that's all, all I want to say, you don't want to overdo it, so, let me actually, like, pay attention and rub it in. Around my neck and face, and like down here, and in my eyes. Now it's a very interesting formula because it's not that easy to spread. Like I feel like I'm kind of tugging at my skin, trying to spread it, and I'm like I could use a pump in each section, and that makes it a little bit easier to spread. But it's like I don't know if I want to do that. It does make it easier to spread though because this stuff is not at all easy to spread. It's like you really have to like push it into your skin and move it around. So I'm good because I know that like and what 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 I like about it right is that it's cream. So it's not it's not it's not exfoliating my skin and it doesn't feel like my skin is um, irritated or sensitized in any way from using this product. I want to wash it off my hands. It doesn't make my skin feel sensitive or sensitized in any way. So I do like that about it. 
Um, so yeah, all in all, I'm happy that I, I'm happy, I'm just doing the update, right? I am happy that I purchased it. I'm happy that I gave Usually another chance because I was not feeling the other formula that I got, the hydroquinone free formulation, wasn't feeling that one. But I do really like the, this erase formula and I think it's going to last me for a while because I'm not having to use it um, that consistently because the hyperpigmentation, the dark spots that I did have, they weren't, um, except for my melasma, it's a focus. Okay, except for my melasma mustache, the other parts of my face that I was trying to brighten and even out were not that difficult to, um, it wasn't that difficult once I actually had to use the right product. That's why it's so important to, you know, try things, trial and error with, with um, these products because some of them may work really well for some people and they may not work at all for, for other people. Of course, within reason, you're not trying to spend, you know, a bunch of money on skincare products, but... I think that you're either gonna sometimes you're either gonna spend the money on skincare or makeup. So like I would rather try it like you know try different products when I'm able to to see what I like and you know find something that's works that works for me and I'm happy that I have found something that works for me in the spot cream. So um yeah, I like the formulation because it's just it doesn't really feel like anything. And I know when I was using the H the hydroquinone free formula and I was telling you guys it was so uncomfortable, it made my skin like feel like it's peeling off. It was super uncomfortable, very itchy. That's just a regular cream. It feels like regular lotion. I wouldn't say it feels like regular lotion in that it's easy to spread because it's not at all very spreadable. For whatever reason, all the music products have a good amount of grit. They kind of have like some texture to them. Um, and that makes it a little bit difficult to spread. So it's kind of like, you know, like a, um, a, a foundation that dries kind of quickly. It has that same kind of formula where you have to put it on and rub it in and that's why I do like to use it on top of my, my, my oils because it makes it a little bit easier to spread but the only thing is like with an oil sometimes um, oils don't absorb into your skin evenly in certain areas like in one area may be super dry so the oil absorbs a little bit quicker or slower because this has to get down into the skin because it is dry or another area might be you know more accepting of the oil so it may absorb a little bit quicker and therefore the product that's on top of it is also going to absorb a little bit quicker so just things to know. So I like the formula. I like um, the way that it feels as far as it doesn't irritate my skin at all because it just was like a lotion. Now, because it is a lightening agent, I do notice that if I, when I first was using it and I was using it like twice a day, like three pumps, like one pump from here, one pump here, one pump here, I did notice that my skin was starting to get red in some areas and that's, I don't know how to, how to describe that other than that. When you're a darker skin tone, right, and you're using lightening agents and you're using, you're kind of, I guess you can say, abusing them, you can start to notice that your skin will turn red and then it will almost go to a, like a next level of pigmentation. So sometimes people, it'll, it will, um, it, 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 it can have lasting effects to where it can, um, I've even heard that if you use hydroquinone, like super consistently it can have the reverse effect it can it can give you a halo effect so i don't want to overuse it at all i just want to use it for its intended purpose which is to even my skin tone out and i think it's doing a great job of that so i'm liking using it once a week once or twice a week i'm liking that um i, I just got it so i haven't had it that long and i i told you i'm lazy with my skincare now i don't use it during the day so i use it at night and i'm not even washing my face every night so so there's that but like I said, I, I can I can at least do it once or twice a week. I can at least use the spot cream once or twice a week, and that's all I need. I don't I don't need to use it any more than that. Um, so I think that it does does what it's supposed to do. I think the formulation, as far as it not irritating my skin, is good. I think that it does dry rather quickly, so you do make sure that you have to you know you do want to make sure that you rub it in as quickly as you can. Um, and yeah, I don't know if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, leave those down below. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Again, my name is Maya, and I'm looking forward to speaking with you soon. Thanks for your time, guys. Bye for now.